Hey everybody, welcome to another Illustrator CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford. Today we're going to be understanding paths and uh, learning what they're all about. And I'm going to give you some key terms and stuff like that that you should know. So you, you, when you talk to other people about Illustrator, they know what you're talking about. So first off, we're going to start about talking about paths. So when you draw an object or you create one or more lines, it's called a path. So go ahead and select the pen tool here and click once and then click again and then you got a line here. Now that line is called a path. Now a path is made up of one or more curved or straight lines. So if I made a line here and clicked and dragged, now I've got a path here that, let me see if I can change this out there we go now I've got a path here that has curved lines in it so these two are both still paths this one's not curved and this one is all right so these are called each part of these paths are called segments in between each of these dots so there's a dot if I select my d direct selection tool there is a dot right there and there's a dot at the top and there's a dot there. Now those dots are called anchor points. And an anchor point is a bending point that's uh, used to modify the segment. So if I click on it, I can drag and I can modify a segment. And in this case, I'm modifying two segments. So um, there's some terminology there for you. So just so you know, a path can be both open and closed. Now these two paths are open. If I make a path like this now I've got a closed path where all the segments uh, come and close up the shape you don't have any open space they're all closed and nothing like if, if you were trying to get like air or something like that inside you wouldn't be able to because it's closed up so that's a, a little bit about that so paths also have two types of anchor points You've got smooth points and you've got corner points. Now this one here would be called a smooth point because it uh, connects curving segments. Now these two, this one would be a corner uh, point where it connects two straight lines. So some more terminology there for you. Now when you're working with these paths, you, we've uh, got these two important tools here. We've got the selection tool and then we've got the direct selection tool. Selection tools, hotkey is V and direct selection tool is A. And you'll want to use those all the time when you're working because it's going to make you work a lot faster. When you use the selection tool and click on some paths, you click on the line and it's going to make it so that the entire thing is selected. And that way you can edit it and move it around. The direct selection tool, when you click, you can click directly on an anchor point and edit the anchor point. Or you can select more than one anchor point and move both of them like this. So there's uh, the two tools up here on the left that you'll be using a lot to modify your paths. Now there's a bunch of other tools that you can use to modify paths as well, but these are the just the two main ones that you can use to modify your entire thing or the anchor points. So just keep that in mind. When you're working with anchor points, which are these points here, if you remember, you can um, adjust the way that they're shown. So if I click on this one, we've got these lines that come out and these lines. These are called handles and we have the ability to hide these um, or show these and we can show edges and stuff like that. So we can go into the view menu here and we can hide edges. And when I do that, the edges of the, uh, of the lines here, they're hidden, all right? And then if I go back here, I can go back to show edges and now they're shown again. Another thing that we can do is, let me see if I can find it. Um, we're looking for show handles. Um, one 
one sec. Where the heck did it go? I lost track of it. Oh yeah, it's not even in that menu. It's over here in the control panel where it says handles. We can click to hide handles for multiple selected points or show handles. So let me select a couple points here. And right now it's on hide. If I click on it now, it'll be on show. So that's another thing that you can do. And then you got a bunch of other things up here that we'll go over later on at some point with the anchor points. But we'll save those for another tutorial. So we'll close out here. Now you know about paths. You know that the paths are the lines. Each, if there's more than one line on, or if there's more than one anchor point on a path, then it's going to have segments. So each of these are segments. So each, each line on here is a segment. And then you got your anchor points, which are the points that you use to modify your paths. So that's it. And uh, I thank you guys for watching this one. And hopefully you guys learned a, uh, a little bit about this. And now you've got some terminology under your belt that you can use when you're talking to other people. And even if you're like talking to someone else, you can correct them when they say something wrong and feel cool. So whatever. Have a good day, everybody.